really excited. We're taking four days this time. Little story about Bayfield. We actually lived there for three years, so we kind of feel like we're going home, but in a, in a way, to our past home anyway. We're really excited to go camping and show you the area. So come on along. beautiful Bayfield, Wisconsin. And it got sunny in my eyes. <laughs> the sun is in our eyes, which is a good problem to have. Yeah. But it's just beautiful out here tonight. We're looking, we're on the end of the pier here in Bayfield. Kind of if you walk down the main street, you walk right into the pier. I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like here. There's the ferry station there where you catch the ferry to go out to Madeline Island. And there, it's kind of the main street of Bayfield. Isn't that beautiful with all the homes on the hill? Beautiful homes. Here comes the ferry coming and in. Some private charter boats there you can get, or there's a tour that goes around to look at all the Apostle Islands that you can buy tickets for here. And then over here, Ron said is, yes, one of the ferries that go out to Madeline Island can actually take your car out there and drive around or you could just go and ride it and walk around the little town of La Pointe which is very beautiful but what a nice night look at just look at that water on Lake Superior here so we are gonna go explore a little bit more tonight mm. and just look around Bayfield before we go back to the campground to have a little campfire Cloudy out there tonight. A little cloudy. Yeah. We'll have to try tomorrow. The next morning it was kind of rainy, so we decided to take a ride and go to one of our favorite places. It's about 13 miles out of Bayfield and it's called the Little Sand Bay. Uh, and they do have a campground there and a visitor center. It's part of the Apostle Islands National Lakeshore. And this is an area we've camped at before and we just love the views here of Lake Superior. They have a really nice beach and some really great historical exhibits. A lot of them are about fishing and the Hawkinson brothers who started a commercial fishing operation there at Little Sand Bay in the 1920s and ran it for about 30 years. So there's a lot of 
exhibits on this and what they went through in the area. It's really fun to see and read about. After that, the weather was clearing up quite a bit, so we decided to take a drive in the hills above Bayfield and go look at some apple orchards. We first went to our very favorite, the Erickson family apple orchard. It's closed today, but certain days of the week they have really good apple products here and fruit products in general, strawberries. Um, and jellies and things. There's some apple trees. They sell apple cider. Anyway, it's a great, great orchard to visit. And we're going to stop at this apple orchard. One of the most popular ones in Bayfield, the Hauser Superior View Farm. I think we went up there one time, didn't we? Yes. You want to go up there? Yeah. Nice. Nice view. <laughs> A nice view up here. Ooh, yeah, that is pretty. Next superior. Collections. Lots and lots of hats. Wow, look at all the hats. I think this is um, who started the place, right? Oh, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this many hats. Oh, toys, tractors. Very cool. You know, strawberry shortcake with with cane coffee, fifty cents. <laughs> well, I wonder what year that was. Probably not that price anymore. Yeah. Oh, we'll go down and find out what they've got now. Yep. Cider tasting. Of course, in the fall they have all the apple apples for sale here. This time of year, it's a little quieter. I think I want to buy some jam. Jam or jelly here. I'm going to look and see what they've got. Rhubarb jam. Rhubarb. Huh. Strawberry rhubarb. Cherry jam. Apple cider jelly. So we got our strawberry rhubarb jam, and now we're gonna head down to the town of Bayfield so we can walk around there for a while. It's an old brownstone building, really pretty here. So if you wanna plan a visit to one of the Apostle Islands, that's the best place to go. It's a visitor center, and kind of check in and let them know where you're going to be kayaking to or where you want to stay. Library, 
Bayfield Carnegie Library. There's a cute little walk here in town. Um, an old jail. Lots to see. Depending on how much time you have. <laughs> weeks here and not see everything probably but of course the lake is a huge draw for this area so if you want to catch the ferry here's where you come if you want to go to Madeline Island we have done this several times so we're not doing it this trip but it's a fun little jaunt over there it doesn't take very long I don't know maybe 15 20 minutes to get over there I think yeah you, know, you can rent your kayaks here yes if you want to rent a kayak trek and trail store I think they even have lessons or take groups out for tours as well yeah they do and you can visit the sea caves That would be really fun. You kind of see the sea caves on the boat tour if you want to go on a little bit less strenuous tour, I guess you could say. Um, there's a boat tour that you can go that takes you around a few of the Apostle Islands and they do kind of venture toward close to the sea caves. Um, so that's kind of fun. Next, we decided to take a walk down Rittenhouse Avenue, starting with the old Rittenhouse Inn, a really nice bed and breakfast, Victorian styled, and they have an amazing restaurant. You could also stay at the Bayfield Guest House. There are several really cute, quaint places to stay in Bayfield, and some amazing restaurants as well. One of those restaurants is called the Copper Trout. And this is a really cute place and they have really good pizza and steak and entrees highlighting local seafood like trout and whitefish on their menu. There are numerous cute little shops in Bayfield as well, including this one that has Scandinavian items. We'll kind of give you a taste of a few of the shops here as we walk down the street, just to give you an idea.
This building is where you would buy tickets to go on the Apostle Islands cruises on the boat rides that I was talking about earlier, or you could also buy the tickets online. shop slash ice cream shop they make their own sugar cones so we're gonna go find a treat Oh, they remodeled it. Yeah. Okay, the popcorn and the rest are still on um, our own thing. Okay. Yeah, we'll give them a try. For sure. <laughs> Thank you. Cheers. Okay, I guess we're going to have a single scoop each. And guacamole. No, and he wants the lux vanilla. And I'm going to have the Mackinac Island Fudge. And then the popcorn. <laughs> I got the uh, vanilla ice cream. What do you have, sweetie? Mackinac Island Fudge. They both really taste good. And these are homemade waffle cones. Yeah, so, they're crispy. Yum. Really good, num num. Mmm, so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. So good. And what a view we have.
Well, we're down at the park here in Bayfield and <laughs> Ron, forgot our, <laughs> Ron forgot our barbecue grill. So I said, what should we do? I wanted to make some veggie kebabs for supper. So we thought about this little park. They have a grill here. So Ron's got the grill going and we're gonna grill kebabs down here and eat them with a wonderful view of the lake, of Lake Superior and the Apostle Islands. So actually maybe it's a good thing he forgot the grill because you don't see a view like that when you eat supper every day, right? There they are cooking away. We decided to make them in these things because it's just easier to flip them and stuff here. So I think we're gonna have enough for a couple couple kebabs. Pretty easy. There's fajita seasoning on these and then we're gonna have cilantro, hot sauce, some sour cream. But a person could easily put meat in here too. They're gonna be so yummy, right Ron? Yep. Look good. Yummy, hey. yummy, yummy. Can't wait for them to get done. Yeah, we'll have enough for a couple skewers each, I think. Okay, we got the first ones done here. Got a little cilantro. Got to have a, some mushroom in the spike. Mmm. I really like it. That fajita seasoning. Kind of marinated in it in it with a little oil a little agave or you could use honey and um yeah you just marinate it for like 20 minutes i think we had it in there an hour probably but it was really easy to throw together yeah <laughs> i'm enjoying it first the bat first batch and especially the view Well, we went to stop by some get some white fish, smoked white fish. We got it from Hoops uh, Fish Market, and as is the pound yeah. fillets. With, we already kind of started on it. We started <laughs> on it, but got the uh, beauty of Dave. So we're gonna get yeah. to it. And it's very, very good. This is um, some, cured uh, with brown sugar, right? Yep, and a little bit of salt. That it's really good. Really good. It's licking, picking, you know, licking fingers yeah they had like smoked salmon there too but this is the local fish yeah so um we just decided to go with that and it's really good yep good so yeah i'm gonna enjoy some too here now as we sit by the fire yeah before i eat it all before ron eats it all i better get going here <laughs> <laughs> well thanks for watching this video about our camping trip to Bayfield, Wisconsin. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of a taste, I guess, of what we did here and the campground we're at. And so if you did, please like and subscribe to these videos. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks so much.